What's up guys? Today my scrawler box came in. There were a few issues with it, but the company fixed it. They were completely accommodating, so I'm really I, I would definitely buy from them again when I got the money. I'm really excited about this. So let's start with the card stuff. First we have this piece of art by Miss Hua. First we have this little package right here sealed with the little sticker. I'm excited about the little sticker. I'm hoping I can get it off the tissue paper without it like losing its stickiness or like the paper sticking to it. I can stick it on the oh no nope. does not look like it's gonna happen. Alright we'll just rip right into it then. They did said they were sending extra stuff because of the error. So first we have this thing called a drumstick which is a raspberry and milk flavor. I'm actually really excited about this because I know it's like candy that's not from America which means we don't have it here so it's exciting and we've got Bosca pens sweet so we've got this like blue color pink purple and white all in, I believe, 0.3 millimeters. Bullet shape 0.9 to 1.3 millimeters. Okay, that's bigger than I thought it was. Huh. I believe, yes, all three, all four of those are the same size. And we've got this huge one. It's 1.8 to 2.5 millimeters. And then we have this one right here that's 0.7 millimeters, which is still probably bigger than most of my fine liners because I like to work with little itty itty bitty little nibs like 0 0.3. 0 0.3. 0 0.3 is my go-to. I do like to use, I, okay, my go-to is 0.3 and 0.1. Depending on which one I find first. I like to use 0 0.05 for the detail work. I like itty bitty fine liners. <laughs> We've got this Nemo Signal white gel pen. Highlights. Love me some highlight pens. So that's cool, that's cool. I really like this purple. Please. Yep, there's a car. <gasps> sticker! There's the sticker. Put it on my computer. I'm so excited. You guys have no idea how many stickers I've got on the back of my computer. It's the most exciting thing for me. So the scrawler box challenge is to get cute. So we're gonna get cute. Um, there's also two pieces of toned paper in here. And I believe this little wrapped guy right here is the extra thing they sent me. So let's open him up. Still really wish I could get this sticker off without like breaking it because I would like to stick that one on my computer as well since it's not the same one as the one they sent. Okay, let's see what is it. What is it? What is it? It felt like more like fine liners. Ooh. So they sent Uniball Signo TSI, which is blue. I believe it's a blue pen. So that's cool. Like pens. <gasps> a Graph Master alcohol based ink marker. That's exciting. And a Uni Posca pen, black, 0.9 to 0.13 millimeters. So I believe that's, yes, that's the same size as these four. So I've got an extra black one in a different size. So that leaves me with, is it sad to say I'm really like most excited about this one? The Graph Master alcohol base. This is the box that made me want to order from them this one right here I was like oh man I want to know what these graph master things are it's exciting I don't have a lot of grays in my Copic markers so I'll be using that a lot all right let's look at the supplies see what we got our hands on so here's the 0.9 to 0.13 millimeter tib nib nib not tib see this white piece right here and we're all pressed down you shake the marker you press up and down with it and it'll fill up with paint. So this white color is before 
you fill it up with paint so it's nice and clean and here's the 0.7 millimeter one and the 1.8 to 2.5 millimeter one now i'm just going to be using the materials that are meant for this box so these two i'm gonna put off to the side I'm a little sick. That's why I didn't post a video on Monday. Yeah. And we'll go ahead and throw in this one that came extra just because it's black and it fits the medium. Alright, so I'm I decided that for so cute because I've been playing Pokemon so much that I wanted to do like a, a hatching and egg hatching like baby Pokemon. I always thought Little baby things are always cute. Baby, you can't go wrong with babies when it comes to adorable. Um, at least with not human babies. Uh, I'm gonna leave it there. So, uh, my first attempt at drawing the egg, the Pokemon was so much smaller than the egg. So I had to resize the entire egg because I didn't want to have to redraw that eye, the open eye on the Squirtle again. So I was like, I like that eye. That is a good eye. Yeah, it's kind of like when you do your eyeliner. Uh, sorry if you don't do eyeliner, but when you do like your eyeliner, and one eye like looks really nice, and you're like, and then the other one, you know, it's like a little too small or a little too big, and you're like, well, I guess you're just gonna, just gonna have to redo you because that's uh, this other one over here. <laughs> it's looking pretty good. So uh, the whole O thing is from Pokemon Go. I have not. I just recently started playing. And, the DS version. I have never played a Pokemon game before uh, Pokemon Go came out, so I don't I don't know if this is true to the, the actual game or not, but this is bas basically off, off of Pokemon Go. Now, the fine liners themselves, the black one that I used to outline the drawing so I knew where I was drawing, where I was drawing, where I was drawing, it was, I had a little bit of issue with it. I wanted to like it a lot, but it kept spraying if you changed the direction of which you lined something. It would spray the ink, and I don't know if you can tell in the video, there's a large amount of spray in your head. And then it happens again when I outline the O. Uh, the white pen worked way better. It was way more opaque than I thought it was going to be. I thought I was going to have to do a couple layers, so I really liked that. Uh, it did tear up the paper. I don't know if that's the paper's fault or the pen. I want to say it's the paper's fault. Just because I want it. I want these pens to be good. I'll have to test them out on other papers, but for now I think I'm going to say it's the paper's fault. Mostly because it kind of felt cardboardy, but it was like a, a strong cardboardy. It was like a rip up cardboardy. Um, the white and the color markers worked really, really well. They didn't spray. Uh, the giant green one that I used, though, it kind of... When my, my brother wanted to activate it, so I let him, so he's going through activating all the markers, and he goes to the green one, and the entire nib just flies out of the marker. And went back in, uh, there was like a little tear in it. I don't know if that was before or after. I don't know if there was just something faulty with the marker. I, it still worked pretty good. It was a little more... It was bigger than I would have liked for this piece. It's a little unwieldy for, for smaller pieces, but that's okay because I mean, it's, it's meant to be big. It's meant to be for bigger pieces. Um, the blue, I think, actually worked to the best out of all of them. All the all the blacks that weren't the black fine liner, both blacks, the, uh, the middle-sized one and the smaller one, they both sprayed a little bit and they frayed a little bit on the on the nibs, and I'm not sure why they did that, because the rest of them didn't seem, well the green one did, but the blue and the pink and the purple and the white, they didn't do that, so I don't know what was going on there, if it was just unlucky, or what, I mean it was still usable, the, the Uniball Signo fine liner though, that black worked fantastically, like I have no complaints there, I would buy those fine liners. The paper wasn't the best. I mean, they didn't tell me where the paper was from, so I'm assuming it was just like this cardboard that we put in there for you to test out. 
use mercury because Posca pens are supposed to work on any surface and I totally believe it. They like layer on each other really nicely. Like if I mess up, oh, that's fine. Even with the white, even with the white, just like put a line over it, completely covers everything up. I love it. I'm using the fine line right now. It worked really well. I, overall, I really love this box. I would buy from these people from Sprawler Box again. Definitely recommend it. Not sponsored. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time.